Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janisha Renee. So as you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about my experience getting porcelain veneers in Cali, Colombia. Let's get into it. Okay, I get it. Let me think. I guess it's my turn. Maybe it's time to put this one just on your sideburns. He say I'm bad. He probably right. He pressing me like button downs on a Friday night. <laughs> I'm so pretty like he on my pedal. So y'all, this is my second time recording this video, so to make it easier, I'm going to make sure to put timestamps below, just so like whatever information you need, you can like quickly go to that section, so you know, it's not all over the place. Okay, so let's get started. Why did I decide to get porcelain veneers? Um, so for me, just like anybody else that gets any kind of procedure or work done, you obviously have like maybe some type of insecurity in that area. For me, it was my smile. And it wasn't just a huge insecurity, but obviously it's just something that I wanted to do, like point blank period, you know? I just felt like I didn't have like a really mature smile. Like my teeth were just so tiny and just, like you didn't really notice them. And I guess I, I'm really attracted to people with nice smiles. So for, for that to be my main like attraction, the first thing I notice about a person, you know, you want your smile to be on point, obviously. So yeah, so let's talk about how I found my dentist. I actually didn't find my dentist. I was originally supposed to be getting this procedure done with three other people. We were supposed to be traveling to Columbia together, but it ended up just being me. So yeah, that, I'll make sure to talk about that a little later in the video. Like this was a complete solo mission all the way across the, the ocean. <laughs> but yeah, like my friend found our dentist on Instagram actually, and you know, uh, he and I both were just looking through a bunch of Instagram pages of people's work. You know, that's like the easiest way to find things these days. Honestly, everybody's on Instagram. Everybody's promoting their work. When I was doing my research, I already knew that I was going to have to travel wherever I went. Just because in my state, I live in Nashville, Tennessee. It's like the cosmetic procedures here just, it's just not giving. Like, it's not giving at all. Like, the doctors... I don't know, but they're just not up to speed with the trends and like how people want to look today in today's world. I just feel like everything is so outdated here, honestly. And that's like with every cosmetic procedure that I've seen done coming out of Tennessee, to be quite honest. So yeah, I knew that I wasn't going to get it done in my city, so it was either going to be um, Atlanta. I really like Dr. Q's work. I actually had a consultation with him and who else? Um, Miami they have some really good dentists out there too so yeah like my friend sent me her Instagram and immediately I fell in love with her work like I really appreciate dentists who hold natural looking teeth to a standard and I could tell like she really focuses on making your teeth or your smile look natural and unique to you so we didn't know too much about the dentist beforehand like obviously we seen her Instagram we communicated with her through Instagram she also has whatsapp and stuff like that and also we found out that she's in the same dentist office as uh, Dr. Montoya who's done like a few different celebrity smiles I think he's done Ari Fletcher and uh, money back yo's teeth so that was also like okay well if they're in the same office then you know you know maybe but her work honestly speaks for itself like that lady is amazing at what she does like what she does is literally her calling she's such an angel i want to talk about her so bad but we're gonna talk about her in like the next section or whatever totally will vouch for her it was really surprising to me how I, when i got to columbia because when you're in your hotel it's a lot of other americans there too that are getting the same work done as you but maybe not by the same dentist because like i said where she works there's a bunch of different dentist offices so um, I met a lot of different people and people that were that shared the same dentist of me had told me how skeptical they were of her because at the time in December she didn't have a large following. I don't think she has a really large following now, but it's definitely grown like thou she's getting like thousands of followers like all the time. It's grown since I first learned about her, right? And people were telling me how skeptical they were, how they had her uh like send them a video confirmation of her speaking to them saying their name like to know that she's a real person and it made me feel like kind of naive because i never doubted that she was a real person like she was posting consistently showing different people that visited her you know you can go to those people's page like you know someone tags a, a client on their story like you can go check out their page if it's not private and see that they went and got their teeth done there so I didn't think I was never too skeptical 
Also, I feel like you run across enough scams these days to have common sense to know whether or not something is a scam. Like, I just feel like you'd have to be a, a really, really good scam artist to pull something over on me like that. You know, have me fly all the way across the country. But, but then again, like I said, I did feel a little naive. Like, did I not grill her more? I, I, I just... <laughs> Thought the lady was real which she is she's real and I that's why I wanted to make a YouTube video because when I was doing my research on her I noticed that she's not the most popular dentist in Colombia and she didn't have I didn't see any videos any YouTube videos of people talking about going to her other than like her clients posting on Instagram so hopefully you know if you are interested in her like this video could be helpful to you I want you to know she's she's very much real okay so my main reason for going out of the country was strictly for the price so let's talk about how much it costs to get porcelain veneers so let me let you guys know what I have, the exact work that I have done. So I have porcelain veneers. I have 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. And for that, the initial deposit was $400 and the remaining balance was $3,600. So all together, I paid $4,000 for my veneers. And also I want to state that um, I booked this procedure back in December of last year. Um, and I just got them done in March. So yeah, in December she was having a um, special. So I just want to make sure that I put that out there. I don't think her prices are the same right now. And I also want to state, depending on like what you need done, what work you need done is going to affect the price as well. Like some people need to get implants or bridges or, you know, cavities filled. Whatever extra work that you need, they're obviously going to charge you for that too. The $4,000 didn't just include my veneers, it also included transportation and my hotel stay for the length of time that I was in Colombia. So that's that's a steal, I'm sorry, but nowhere in the States was offering anything like that, period. Okay, so let's talk about my very first day getting to Colombia. You guys, first of all, it was a long ass flight. I had to fly from Nashville to Miami to Colombia. And it was just a long day, right? I was literally up at like four doing all this to arrive there, right? I didn't, some people do things like leave the day before. I, I didn't do that. I did it all in one day. I arrived on a Sunday. So when I get there, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have time to like go to sleep. And you know, on Monday, it's like a business day. So that's when I'm gonna get my teeth done. No, on Sunday, like I got there in the afternoon. So I got there around like three something. And they was like, okay, we'll be back to come get you at like six o'clock, you know, for your dentist appointment. And I'm like, what you mean? Like, I don't get to like, I thought it was gonna be like tomorrow. But no, 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 like as soon as you get there, they get to work, like immediately. The Like the day that you land, you have a dentist appointment that same day. So expect that. As soon as I meet her, she's just like, oh my God, she's like, you're so pretty. And I was like, she was like, Can I? she like wanted to give me a hug. And that was really sweet. So, you know, we embraced. And I also noticed that she doesn't speak like great English. So there was a, a lady there translating for her while she was talking to me, which was something I didn't know because I'm thinking the whole time I'm talking to her through Instagram I'm actually talking to her no I'm actually talking to her husband <laughs> he speaks fluent English so I'm talking to her which you know I thought I was talking to somebody else because um I'm sure she's working all the time she's posting all the time her new clients so I'm sure the lady was working like it was I, I thought I was talking to her assistant or something but I didn't know that she didn't really speak English like that until I got there so yeah your first day you can expect pretty much what you would expect from any other dentist appointment they give you paperwork to sign you know she goes over the procedure with you she asks you questions about your expectations for your smile what would you like to enhance what's your biggest like insecurity with your smile so that she can you know work off of that they're also going to give you options of like what shade of white that you want your veneers which starts from bl1 to bl4 bl1 being the whitest and for me i ended up choosing bl2 they do highly recommend they were really trying to like get me to do bl1 um, I chose not to do BL1 just because it was so white and I was just like I don't want them to be that white you know BL2 was like BL2 was still really white but it was more on the natural side and y'all my teeth are so white 
like on the little model that they showed the teeth looked really natural white but honestly and like after getting them done and they're still fresh like it's been a month since i've had them but my teeth are still super white like i get complimented on that all the time all the time like how white my teeth are no one is really no one's actually asked me are they fake they're just like how'd you get your teeth so white you know yeah i ended up choosing bl2 just because i didn't want it to be like such a shock you know but a lot of people are gonna recommend that you choose bl1 just because you're, you know you're spending all that money and they just feel like why not get the whitest little white you know but if you are like me and you want to do bl2 and you're worried that it, it won't look white just know the bl2 is still white okay it's still really really white and over time your teeth are definitely going to change shade they tell you that they don't but they do they do my teeth are nowhere near as white as they were when i first got them done they were like it was crazy crazy looking white and i didn't really like that even though they're still really white they're they're so much toned down and i like them so much better now they're also going to ask you what texture do you want for your veneers and for me she recommended translucent because my natural teeth were a bit translucent in the front and she just thought you know that would best match my smile so i chose translucent which i think is a great choice for anyone considering it it just adds to that like naturalness like you know natural teeth aren't like that solid i people teeth be looking like tic tacs or something like it just looks so like i don't like it because my teeth were like on the smaller side she thought that it would be good to do some gum contouring so that my veneers look like they fit you know in my mouth and they don't look like you know big and just like they're they shouldn't be there basically so i was cool with that i'm like is it gonna hurt <laughs> i was i was recording too while she was doing it so i'm like Please, is it if it's gonna hurt, I need the anesthesia immediately. So yeah, she she gave me the anesthesia after my teeth cleaning, because you get your teeth clean first. And they do the gum contour, which they use a laser to do that. And um I can say that it didn't hurt. I can say that it the only thing, the only pain I felt was like a little pinch in my gum when they gave me the anesthesia. Cause they put a topical anesthesia on your gums before they do the needle. And yeah, I could still feel the pressure of the needle, but other than that, it was fine. And I could kind of smell, like there's this like burning smell when they were lasering my gums back. I could smell that, and that was kind of gross. But other than that, it didn't hurt. Oh, and another thing she had to do for me was one of my front teeth was like a little crooked, so she had to shave that one down. But that's the only one. Like, they don't shave your teeth down or anything like that for this procedure. You shouldn't have to get your teeth shaved down. If you're getting all your teeth shaved down, then you're not getting veneers. You're getting crowns. I just want to, like, make sure you do your research, y'all, when you look up the, the veneer, the actual procedure of putting on veneers. They should never have to shave all of your teeth down you know basically your first appointment is the prep service for your veneers because you only have two dentist appointments which was also not what i was expecting either i don't know what i expected to be there for that long because it's like i said it's only five days i just happen to be there for seven days but um yeah so the first appointment is you getting your getting the prep work done for your veneers if you need anything else done like i said i didn't have to do any other work on my teeth if i did need anything else then they would have done it that day like if i needed a cavity filled if i need a tooth pulled or whatever they would have did it that on your first appointment but that's all i had to do was get my um teeth cleaned and get my gums contoured so i have four days before they're gonna put on my veneers and the drivers like give you so many options i really wasn't going there expecting to do a bunch of stuff but when i tell y'all i was literally had a different activity to do the whole week they did not want you to stay in your hotel they're like you're gonna be bored like go out like let's get an experience of columbia or whatever so which obviously it's not free you gotta pay for your excursions which i did you do that through the driver yeah so all of your excursions are handled by the dentist team um she has a whole team of people that take care of you like from the time you get there you get picked up from the airport and they're with you the whole way through you have a driver assigned to you the entire time that you're there so if you need to like go get food or anything like that your driver is going to be responsible for taking you there and just making sure that you're safe the entire time so yeah your driver's responsible for your excursions they're gonna take you to them pick pick you up from them like give you options of what you want to pick for the excursion package i want to say what i did was like at least 200 i i don't 
don't remember exactly how much all of the excursions were because a couple instances changed where we weren't able to do some of the stuff but I want to say it was like $200 for what I ended up doing so yeah y'all after my first dentist appointment I am now left with nothing but time to just explore have fun and her team did a great job of making sure I did just that and I was a bit nervous at first just because like I said I came there by myself so I'm like am I gonna be bored or am I gonna meet people I met so many amazing people and it just really opened my eyes to like wanting to travel so much more after this and not be afraid to do it by myself because there's always going to be people around, you know, you just got to like be open to that connection. I met a girl there and we're like the best of friends now. She's so cool. And we pretty much stuck it out the rest of the trip together. We were, we were actually with the same dentist. And so that was a really good experience. And I met some other people too that we are super like connected with each other on our socials now. It, it was just great. Like the whole experience was just great. Uh, let me take out some of the excursions that I did. So I ended up doing paragliding, I did horseback riding, and I did like two different tours were the excursions that I ended up choosing. And each of them I had a ball. The one with the horses, ah, oh, the one with the horses was like, everyone makes like horseback riding look so fun. Like, so the plan was to horseback ride in the water. That's what they were showing me, right? But, okay, so the girl that I met on the trip, her name's Ayana. Hey, Ayana, if you're watching this, love you. She was just like terrified of the freaking horses. And I was just like, girl, why did you, why did you want to go horseback riding? But I can't even fault her because these horses were literally insane. They were literally insane. Mind you, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Again, remember, I have ridden a horse before, okay? These horses, so our instructor didn't speak a lick of English at all. And like the instructions he was giving us, I just think we're just a little unclear, definitely for me. And my horse literally took off running, took off running full speed, like towards the open road where cars are going back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just like, I'm finna die. I'm trying everything that I'm supposed to do to like stop the horse from going. And it just, it just would not stop. And the, um, the instructor ended up like catching up to me and the horse and was like able to make the horse stop. I was trying, y'all, I was trying so hard to make that horse stop and it just wouldn't stop. And you know, I was cool with riding the horses. I was like, I've done this before. I had no issues, like getting up there, getting on the horse. Like, you know, I thought, I felt like, <laughs> I felt like I was gonna be fine, but no, it wasn't a good experience. I can't, like I said, I can't even be mad at her because them horses was crazy. They ended up actually taking me off of the horse that I was on and giving it to another uh, one of the clients that was there. Mind you, all the people on your excursions are also getting their teeth done too. So uh, it was another guy that we met there and they ended up giving him the horse. And he's from New York, so it was really funny. When he got on my horse, he was riding that horse like it was a car. Like, I ended up dropping my phone. I ended up dropping my phone, y'all. When the horse took off with me, I had my phone like in the pocket of my shirt that I had on. And then, you know, we're like, they done put switch me to the horse that the other guy was on because it was slower, it was more calm, it was chill. And um, I realized, I was like, oh, I didn't. And then I realized I don't have my phone, so I was like freaking out. So he ended up like getting the horse that I was just on, he, he galloped that thing. <laughs> And he rode it all the way back to where we were, like our little starting point or whatever. And he found my phone. And I, that was, it was, it was crazy. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> that was his name. But, um, yes. So that experience was insane. So the other ones, the paragliding, I ended up doing that by myself. There was supposed to be another couple there with me, but they ended up not coming. They had got drunk the night before. That was crazy. They really know how to treat you in Colombia. Like, they really know how to treat you. I'm over here telling all they business, but I ain't gonna lie, that tequila was, <sighs> oh my God, it was, it, was, it was nothing to play with. So I believe that they, they weren't able to come paragliding with me that next morning. So yeah, I ended up having to do that by myself. I've always wanted to do skydiving and this is similar not all the way I'm pretty sure yeah cuz I'm pretty sure skydiving is a much different experience like way more adrenaline pumping I, I honestly 
maybe not because some people are afraid of heights i'm really not afraid of much so this was crazy for me to do this by myself it was so fun y'all i don't and what's funny is i was not scared one bit like i was having the time of my life in the air what i was really most concerned about because like i told y'all I wasn't really, I didn't know about all these excursions. I wasn't planning to do all this. I didn't bring any like tennis shoes. I didn't bring any sneakers, nothing. So I have on like, um, I have on like sandals and they don't have any strap on them or anything. I'm literally squeezing my toes so hard together to keep them on my feet. Like, please don't let me lose my shoes. Cause I only had brought like two other pairs of shoes and one of them was heels. Cause but when we go out, that's also something I got to tell y'all. So this is, I guess it wouldn't be considered an excursion, but the dentist, our dentist, Stephanie, she did take us out to dinner with her, which was amazing. She took me and my friend Ayana that I met there in Colombia. She took us to this restaurant called La Cantina uh, 15, I think. And um, it was so good, y'all. The food was so good. Like the entire ambiance of the restaurant was just amazing and they had like a live band live music it was really really nice they bought us drinks was buying us like shots and stuff it was amazing so can you imagine like if you was in your city is your dentist taking you out to dinner probably not <laughs> And like I was so nervous about going out to dinner because you know like I said she didn't really speak English that well so I'm like thinking am I gonna be able to understand her you know is it gonna be awkward it was not awkward y'all at all it was such a good vibe she's such a lovable person her husband was there and also um, her translator was there and we was just chilling like it was it was a great it was a great experience like overall I loved it during the tours I don't think I mentioned this earlier about when I was talking about the pricing and stuff but I didn't like get my cash converted or anything. I just was using like cards the whole time. So when we went on the tours, um, my tour guy, his name was Santiago, and he was really, really nice. He paid for like the like the little trinkets and stuff that I was getting with his money. And then like they have a card reader when you get back to your car, and then, and then I was able to pay for it. And I got like such cute stuff. I'm wearing them in this video. I actually wear these all the time, but I got some bracelets. They're really, really cute. Look how cute these are. Um, this is like rose quartz and then this one is like for protection she said <laughs> everything was so fun I did the city tours by myself uh, after I met Ayana she and I started doing a bunch of stuff together so she really loved my bracelets and we ended up going to some um, shops some souvenir shops together and for that experience our driver was actually unavailable so he uh, like called us a cab to take us um which i was nervous about that because i'm used to this specific driver but when i say that man the cab driver took so much care of us like he was part of uh, dr stephanie's team like it was it was everything was just like such a big family experience he went with us to each shop he translated for us like they took really really good care of us it was it was really really great like i loved it so yeah y'all that's pretty much what i did during my spare time before my final dentist appointment so let's talk about the day of actually getting my veneers put on so the beginning of that day i was so nervous um two of my friends that i met there they had got their veneers done before me so you know just from them telling me about their experience they was like girl it hurts so bad and i was just like oh my god like I, I did not want it to hurt like I'm pretty good with pain but like anything dealing with your mouth like you ever had a toothache like it, that, it be intense you know so I'm just like not I don't I didn't want that I didn't want that so soon as I got in there I'm like anesthesia me down like I need anesthesia okay and she was really cool she was like you're sensitive and I'm like yes and then <laughs> I told her I was sensitive as soon as I laid on the table also I had brought pain medicine with me I had brought like some ibuprofen and stuff just because I didn't know what to expect so I took that before I came which was it was good but it was also bad because when I tell you I was falling asleep when I was laying there getting the veneers put on I didn't feel a thing she did the anesthesia she put it in both sides of my gums like I said I had taken that pain medicine I was literally like dozing off 
and I know I was falling asleep because <laughs> I um I I know I I think I had started snoring and I heard one of them like oh she's so cute I'm like let me wake up okay let me wake up and also I had dropped my phone like I had my phone like laying under me you know they put the little thing on you the little napkin stuff or whatever and I had my and they gave me a blanket too they had me real bundled up real cozy I was relaxed I had my phone in my hand and I dropped my phone <laughs> that's how I knew I was falling asleep I was so sleepy but my bad y'all I'm skipping around so as soon as you get there, they do your teeth cleaning again to get you ready for your veneers. And then they start, you know, doing the process of putting your veneers on. And it took like two hours, I want to say. I also forgot to mention, on your first day, they do the mold for your veneers. So I guess it takes three days, three to four days for your veneers to get back because she told me that they send them off to the lab for them to get made. So after you get your veneers placed on, they're going to do another molding for your night guard. And your night guard is mainly like for those people that grind their teeth in your sleep. But also, you know, you're, sometimes you're stressed when you're asleep. You may grind your teeth without knowing that you even do that or like just clench down. It's really just to protect your new veneers, you know. And it's something that they recommend for like the lifetime of your veneers. However, um, some people don't do it. Some people do. I still sleep with mine every night. I, I can't even go to sleep without having my night guardian anymore. Like I'm so used to it now. So let's talk about how I felt initially after getting my veneers. So I just want to say that Dr. Stephanie's team is really good with recording and getting that content out to promote her business, right? Uh, so immediate, so immediately after I get off the table, like I've been laying there a minute, so I'm like, I gotta use the restroom. And I guess they didn't want me to go in there and see my teeth, which they actually were renovating, so they didn't even have a mirror in the bathroom. I just really had to use the restroom. But they were like, don't you want to see your smile first? And I'm like, okay, okay, let's do that. Hurry up. So they give me a mirror, and they're recording me to get my reaction. And when they give me that mirror and I see my teeth, I'm just looking like, <laughs> like it was so awkward like I'm trying to be happy but at the, but truthfully I didn't know how to feel in that moment I'm just like like they're so they were so white y'all they were so white and like I said I went from having super tiny teeth to now my teeth are a little bigger so it was just a big shock to me I'm just like girl what is this like what did you do like I'm really just like Immediately, immediately, like I look to Dr. Sydney, I'm like, are they big? Are they big? Are they big? <laughs> like that was just, that was my main concern. I'm like, do they look big to y'all? And everybody was like trying to reassure me. Everybody's like, no, they look perfect. Like you look beautiful. They're good. You're good. And I'm just like, I don't think I'm good. Like I went to the restroom and I literally almost had a mental breakdown in that restroom. Like I'm literally just like, and I'm pretty sure they could tell they never posted my video. So I'm pretty sure they could tell that I wasn't like, I had mixed feelings. Um, when I went in the restroom, I was just thinking like, I didn't, use, I didn't even use the restroom. Like I said, I had to go before, but now I'm just like panicking. Like, did I just do something to like, this gonna affect my face? Like, did I just mess up my, like, what did I do? Like, what did I even just do? Like, I'm just like, I don't know how to feel. I did not know how to feel about them for days, y'all, for days. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know if I had made the right decision. I didn't know if I liked them or if I didn't like them. Like, actually looking at them initially, like, they look good. Like, nothing cosmetically looked wrong with them. I just didn't know if they looked right on me, you know, like, did, was I cuter with my <laughs> with my natural smile? Like I didn't know. Um, so immediately, like I'm calling out my friends and family. I'm like, what are you doing? Ah! You know, just freaking out. And everybody's just like, you look great. Like you're tripping. And I'm just like, okay, okay. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. But if you're anything like me, just know that it's going to be a huge difference. It was just that it was such a big change. And I don't think people think about how much i guess i just didn't think about how much your smile comes into play you know what i mean because i guess from my smile before like it really wasn't even noticeable like i had a gap i haven't had a gap my whole life people didn't even notice that i had a gap because my smile didn't even make that much noise <laughs> like, you know what i mean like they just weren't like pop out right at you 
So yeah, this is like a really big adjustment for me. And it took a few, it took like a week. It took like a whole week. Also, my friend, she was even like, she, her smile to me when I first seen her, I was just like, girl, they look like your teeth. Like they really like made them just look like a better enhancement of your smile, you know? Like they look amazing. And she was even having mixed feelings with her smile because basically I want you guys to know you can expect immediately to talk funny as hell like you're gonna have a lisp you're gonna sound weird and it's gonna feel like am i ever gonna be normal again you know but it, it's temporary like within like a week within that same day i was talking pretty normal but it was like on and off because you're like you just feel like you have something in your mouth because you do you have something foreign that hasn't wasn't there before so yeah, you're definitely gonna have a lisp, so please expect that. <laughs> but yeah, my dentist was like, just take your time. Just take your time to get used to them. You know, everybody in the office was showing me their teeth, which I, I wanted to say, everybody in her office has had their teeth done. And they all look so good. Like, they look so natural. Like, upon first glance, I wasn't even able to tell that they had veneers. But now that I've got veneers, I'm pretty sure that I'm like a teeth expert now. <laughs> I'm sure anyone that's got their teeth done, you know, like after you get your teeth done, you looking at everybody's teeth. You looking at your old teeth and you like, damn, I used to look like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like everybody in the office, they look great. Like everybody's smile was so beautiful. So I was just like, let me take some time to think and you know look at my smile maybe actually stop looking at my smile so much because i'm telling you i literally couldn't stop looking at them and you know you look at something long enough you'll end up not liking it and i really wanted to like it i just didn't know how i felt because i really just my, my feelings was all over the place initially when i got my teeth done but i ended up loving them and we're gonna get into that i want to tell you guys my final thoughts and everything but first i want to like talk about the aftercare after you get your veneers and then we'll go into do I regret them or not, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, so follow-up care. Follow-up care is so, 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 so important, okay? Me, I'm really big on hygiene, smelling good, all of that, all the time. So this was, like, essential for me. I'm going to tell y'all some essentials that y'all need. Um, so off the bat, after you get your teeth done, like I was saying, you can expect to have a list. Something else you can look forward to is... <laughs> well, you really don't want to look forward to it, but your bite, your bite is going to be so different, guys. Um, initially, you're definitely going to get used to it because this is your new bite. This is how you bite down, right? But you, that's something you really want to check out with your dentist, make sure it's right. Um, mine was okay. It didn't feel too much different. It just, it just obviously felt like there's a little more pressure because I got these, like, new teeth. So, like, my friend, she was basically, like, said she couldn't eat or nothing like that afterwards. I was eating like the day of. <laughs> it did feel weird, but I still was eating, you know? But it definitely did feel weird. But also what I noticed like right off the bat was like stuff gets so stuck in your teeth so easily. Um, Cause they really do like a big emphasis on making sure that you can floss, like making sure that there's space in between your teeth. They really uh, file in between, make sure you can get up in there, right? So yes, flossing is like, my life now i was flossing before but nowhere to the extent that i'm flossing now so you know what i did i went and got me a water pick this is my best friend and i'll make sure to link this stuff below i have all of this in my amazon storefront so you guys do not have to worry but yes i got a water pick like immediately because flossing is exhausting like soon as you eat something you're gonna it's you're just gonna feel it and it's just there and it's just gross and it's just like oh i want to get rid of this like quickly this is my best friend when i'm at home like i'll just run in the bathroom and floss like after i eat food and stuff like after every meal because it's just easier and faster so for floss this is my favorite oral b and i some people told me they like the the little um I, what do you call these the floss picks i do not like these they be breaking like they break so easily or whatever this brand is i don't even know but i love my oral b because it's like a wiry material and not like the floss on here is like it just feels like papery like it's, it's like that stretchy 
I don't know what you would call this, but this is so much better. This is like a wire and it doesn't break because for whatever reason with your veneers, like your teeth are a lot closer together, I feel. Like you have space, but like regular floss just for me wasn't cutting it. I needed something like with durability. So this oral B for me. And also mouthwash. I didn't really switch it up too much there. I was using TheraBreath before and I still am with my veneers. But I also stepped it up a notch and I've been hearing really good things about Guru Nada. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. But it's just another concentrated natural mouthwash. You actually just add this to water, just like a few drops. And I also do oil pulling. If you don't know much about oil pulling, you need to do your research. It's like the key to like good breath for the rest of your life. There's just so many different benefits to oil pulling. So yeah, you guys should try it. I got this one from the same brand. But you can also just use regular uh, virgin coconut oil if you want. You don't have to use the pre-made one after getting your veneers done you still want to go to the dentist regularly um dr stephanie recommends that you get your teeth cleaned you go in for a cleaning at least six every six months so yeah but they do say that your veneers are supposed to like uphold and stay white forever i don't believe that if you like a wine coffee drinker they're gonna stain i'm sorry they're gonna stain i've seen too many to know that to believe that they're gonna stay white forever so please take care of your smile it's such a big investment you really really need to make sure that you're doing all the necessary follow-up and aftercare that you can you know to protect your new teeth okay so lastly what are my final thoughts do i regret my smile would i recommend this dentist i'm pretty sure you guys can tell from all the stuff that i've said so far yes yeah wait no no the answer is no i don't regret my smile <laughs> i don't regret my smile i love my smile it took me time for sure but i love my smile now like i literally just be in the mirror like <laughs> like all the time like i just i'm happy like i'm really really happy with it it did take some time like i said it was just shocking like i've never i've never had new teeth before so it was something to get used to but I definitely love them. I do not regret them. And I would highly recommend Dr. Stefania at Diamond Smiles, honey. Because she, her entire team, her whole team made this such a great experience for me. Like from the traveling to the hotel stay to just the endless amounts of questions that I had. Like she, everyone, like everyone was so accommodating uh, for me and I love that like I felt safe the entire time that was really big for me it was a really big thing for me to go all the way down there by myself you know so for me to feel like that like it, it meant everything to me I felt so safe I felt so just cared for while I was there um, all my concerns all my needs were met <laughs> all the time all the time I want to shout out to uh, one of her drivers Diego and his brother Santiago they were perfect like they were amazing they were so nice so helpful um, I remember asking Diego I was like how did you learn English and he was just like he learned doing a uh, dual link up and I was like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, just like watching like English movies and stuff like that and music, listening to our stuff. And I'm just like, what? Cause, cause I got a Duolingo app. And I'm just like, I'm really tripping. Cause not to learn, he speaks so well. He's only been learning for like two years and he speaks English so well. So just even that extra step, which I know they did it for business purposes, but it just was really motivating like I just feel like I met the most amazing people while I was there in Colombia and honestly they made it feel like a second home they made me feel like they, they were sharing their home with me that's how it felt and like I couldn't have asked for a better experience honestly everything was just on point so yes I would totally recommend Dr. Stephanie Martinez um, if you go to her, I really just don't think you'll regret it at all. Like, I love my smile. And I just want to say to anyone thinking about getting veneers, make or any cosmetic procedure, period, just make sure that you're doing it for you. As long as you're doing it for the right reasons and, you know, not trying to impress people, not doing it for someone else, you know, do it for you. 
because that's what matters at the end of the day like it does not matter what anyone else thinks you got to be happy with that choice so that's what i just want to make sure that i touch on period but yeah you guys that pretty much sums up this video i really hope this information was helpful to you and if you are thinking about going to see my dentist please tell her that i sent you and yeah best of luck to you on your journey Please don't forget to like this video and comment and subscribe. Any questions that you have, I don't mind answering. So just leave me a comment. Oh, and before I go, just so you guys know, I am doing a giveaway. The details will be listed in the description below. It's going to be a giveaway once I reach 500 subscribers. And it's going to be a giveaway for a week. That's going to be prepped and customized by me. So yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the subscribe button because you might just want a wig. So yes, please tap in. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.